Hey everybody and welcome back. So, uh, it is favorites time once again. I legit this month don't have a lot because I've been loving stuff that I've previously been loving. So it's just a couple things. Going ahead, getting right into it. I'm going to start off with um, this bronzer. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I think that this section of my draw haul video got cut off and I, I'm not quite sure why but this was in there and I've been using this for about two weeks now and it's just so great. I switch off between this and the um the L'Oreal new bronzer that I also think got cut off in that haul as well. They're almost identical in color. This is just the shade bronzer. There is this and a slightly lighter one that's called light bronzer. But it's just, I really like the consistency of this. I use my really big fluffy Morphe G0 brush and I just put this on. It's just the most natural shade for my skin tone because I so have the problem of always wanting to go darker being like no you won't be able to see that on my pale skin it's gonna blend in but this is well worth the money it's like $15 which isn't terrible for a drugstore so it's not bad at all and then let me actually just get the L'Oreal one since you probably didn't see it in the video I'm gonna show you here because I like it too so this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze I got the shade 01 light there's three shades. Like I said, this is almost identical to the shade of the bronzer in here. This is just a little bit maybe warmer, but they're very similar. This one does have a sheen to it, but you can't tell on the face, which is great because I was a little bit leery with that. This, you just get more product because it is for face and body, but these are both great affordable drugstore bronzers. And then... I mentioned these in that video too, but I told you you'd see them in favorites. So once again, they are the Essence Blush Ups. This is the shade Pinky Flow, number two, and number one is Heat Wave. These are both just really pretty, $4, ridiculously pigmented, high quality, in my opinion, blushes that you can find at the drugstore. I did mention these, and I found them at Target because I could find them on the website. I don't know why, but these are great if you're looking for affordable. Br I can never say blush. I always say brush. Always. Anyway, two lip colors, and this is the Clinique Long Lasting Soft Matte Lipstick, and this is the shade number 47 Matte Peony. I actually really like this formula. I really like the packaging as well too. So it's got this little. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. I want to say serrated, but that's not the right word, but you get what I'm trying to say here with the packaging. And it's just like that really pretty bright shade, obviously, because I just prefer bright. So I'm more of a bright than I am a nude type of color girl. And it's just right up my alley. And this is a great formula if you're looking for a creamy hydrating matte. Clinique is awesome. I think they're only like $16, so not bad. And then I have the Tarte or the Tarte Tartist lip paint. It's like something greasy on the outside. This is bothering me. But anyway, I got this in like a little kit. And it's a shade TBT or Throwback Thursday. And I haven't tried any of the other ones before I got this, but I actually really like the formula. It takes a while to dry. Like I wasn't actually sure if it was going to dry because it took that long. But once it did, it felt like I had nothing on my lips. It was, it was really, really weird. Because at first I was like, oh, it's just like a creamy lipstick almost but it actually does dry down maybe like an hour later but it stayed on really well i really like this color it's like a pretty mauve shade i do like this applicator i don't know why um it's just like a very straight doe foot applicator and it's just i love this it's like the perfect consistency and it's just a really really pretty shade so i kind of want to go and get maybe one or two other ones just because I really like the consistency and the wearability of these. And then for hair, I have really been enjoying the Way Hair Care from Jen Atkins and this is the hair oil. This one, what I like it for is like after I'm done like blow drying it or straightening my hair, I'll just go in with only one pump because like one pump gives you a ton of product. So I'll just go in with one pump in my palm and kind of rub it to about throw my entire hand all the way up to my fingers and then just run my fingers through my hair and kind of just go like this to get all the little like flyaways to come down. It actually makes my hair really soft. It adds some shine to it and it, the scent is really nice. It's kind of like a, a florally scent. I don't know if I could 
completely describe it. I know that it gives a description of what the scent is on Sephora's website, but it is definitely a floral scent. But it's just a nice, lightweight hair oil. And it is, um, I read it. It is, it helps with heat protection as well too, so that's huge. I normally only use oils. Oh my god, I can't talk to it. Apologize. Um, I normally only use oils as heat protectants and this does have that ability in it as well because it just says a multitasking oil that smooths, frizz, and seals sealed split ends for high gloss, super smooth finish packed with African Galanga AMA and Asian Barrage oils to keep color from fading and protect hair from heat damage. This is really great. I think it was only like 20 something dollars, so pretty affordable. You get a ton of product. You only need one pump to cover your entire hair in my opinion. And then two last things which are not makeup related but I want to share. I found this chocolate. It's like an artesian chocolate company and oh I have to share this with you. It's so good. It's um, Maison Boucher. It's like French. I don't know if you say the E or not but I'm just gonna say Boucher or Bouche maybe. Um, and this is the violet chocolate. Obviously I ate it but it comes in the cutest packaging. This is like the outer shell that it comes with and then it's covered in a foil that's like coordinating so it was in a really pretty lavender foil and it's just I prefer dark chocolate I'm more of a dark chocolate type of person just in general and this was um dark chocolate and violet that sounds so weird but honestly it's the most like subtle floral scent in the chocolate and it's just really creamy not overly sweet or overly um overpowering of any of the flavors they actually do have their website and i'll link it below because they have like 50 different flavors of chocolate and you can actually order off the website um I found it at like a, a fancy fruit fruit chocolate place in the Glendale Galleria. I know that they probably have other locations, but just in case they have it on the website and uh, at some point in time I'm just going to make a big purchase because they are more affordable on the actual website than if you go to a candy store. They charge you a couple of dollars more just because it's like a uh, fancy, but if you go and you want to save money, I would do it online. And then the last thing is my, I have a new favorite tea. I'm one of those people that, I, to be honest with you, I really like tea year round. I'm just, if I had to choose tea or coffee, I enjoy them both. If I had to choose, it would just be tea, I mean, honestly. And this is like my first favorite tea probably ever. I probably found this tea when I was in like middle school or something. And I just, it's been so long since I've seen it. And I love World Market and that's where I was able to find this again. And it is the Republic of Tea that's the brand and the flavor I get is ginger peach this is amazing they also have a decaf version and a green tea version I just prefer the original caffeinated black tea version honestly for me but it's really really great I want to say that this is only like 12 or 13 dollars not bad at all you get 50 satchels I'm just gonna call them a satchel whatever it's a tea bag anyway they look just like this is honestly it's the most that sounds like the weirdest flavor but it is the most amazing flavor ever if you like tea you need to find this it's so good i'm pretty sure you can find this on amazon if you don't have a world market anywhere near you and it's so good they're natural unbleached tea bags oh my goodness um i'm just gonna i don't know if i'll ever make a devoted tea like video but I kind of want to tell you like how I do it to get like the maximum flavor where it's not overpowering it's not underpowering with black teas I tend to leave the bag in there for three to four minutes I monitor the color because the deeper it is regardless of the flavor of your tea the deeper your black tea gets the stronger it's going to be so I monitor that color and choose between the three to four minutes and then the biggest mistake that I've made and that I kind of just have corrected is I never ever squeeze the bag once I'm done steeping it. I will pull the bag out and kind of let the excess drip off a little bit and shake it just to get the extra because that's the most concentrated um, flavor right then in the bag. So I let it drip off so I can get a little bit more of that enhanced flavor but I never squeeze because that makes it bitter in my opinion. And just take it out. I always sweeten mine with honey. That's just a personal preference. Obviously you can sweeten it or not sweeten it however you like. I just love honey and I love tea and I just love mixing them together. Um, so that's actually all I know. I said I have really small and I just, no joke, it was actually really small this month. Music favorite, I will mention, I love Jess Glenn. Her voice is so like indie and almost like, I don't want to call it raspy, but it just has this like oomph to her voice. I just love different sounding where you aren't sitting there being like, you're auto-tuned. Everything is auto-tuned. So she just sounds like she has a gorgeous voice 
live. I mean, I don't know what she sounds like live, but she just sounds great. Anyway, she's a, I'm pretty sure she's, she's from like UK or something of that nature, but Jess Glenn, really, really good. I'm enjoying it. And her music, I haven't heard any of that new Beyonce, 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 <laughs> Beyonce, Rihanna, or Drake's new stuff. I mean, at some point I'll probably listen to it, so I don't have any of them to report on, but I just wanted to throw that little tidbit of music in there for you. So that is all for this month. I will be seeing you very soon for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye.